Maybe I will do that. Okay, Ravi, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna take that last game and I'm going to cut it up, even though I really am gonna cringe while I listen to myself and rant about it. And I'm gonna put it on YouTube. And it's gonna be why Twitch is a better platform for streaming than YouTube. Well, you turn, uh, the more hours you stream, the more value is in, in a sub is in terms. Yeah, of course. But like, again, like, it's all about that impression. Like, people who join your stream, like, there's a reason I run ads, period, okay? I run ads because they prevent pre-roll ads. So they actually prevent a negative experience. If I, if I run three minutes of ads when, like, when I am not sitting down or like when games are done or like whatever it is and I give you guys warning and I do the little bit like, oh, you could subscribe, whatever. Like, it prevents pre-roll ads, which is a, it was probably one of the most negative experiences you can have on the website, which is you, you rock up into a, an ad. <laughs> like, no, no one has complained about anything more than pre-roll ads. Like, everyone fucking hates that shit with a passion. Right? So, like, it, of course, I make a bit of money, but I also prevent a very negative experience. No one has them when they come here. We get maybe, like, five minutes, five to ten minutes of pre-roll ad time a day, depending on how long the games have run, right? Mid rounds worse than pre-rolls, fight me on the take. It's- it's not worse. How- how- why would I fight you on- like, this is a stupid take. Pre-roll ads are mid-roll ads that just come at the worst possible time. <laughs> what do you mean? He only has- oh, he has two scans. You mean when Twitch was- oh! When Twitch was running mid-rolls? That's website killing, bro. I'm so glad that they went back on that. That- that shit- is some website murdering fucking mismanagement. Not like all it like YouTube actually probably gained so much from the day that the, from that like experiment. I don't know if you can even quantify it. Like the idea that they would just roll ads in the middle of fucking content like without any warning for breaks and shit like oh my god. <laughs> that is some shit, Ravi. That was the that was bad. You're right actually. That is the worst. What was this? Twitch experimented with just rolling mid-roll ads through your shit. Yeah, they just roll them. If you wouldn't roll them, they'd just roll them. <laughs> That's it. Yeah, as much as I don't like the automated system because it makes me do stuff I really don't want to do, I will admit that it is way better than what it was before. And it's way more sustainable, honestly. We're the captains of our own ship, at least. Yeah, I gotta give Twitch its credit for the for the ad stuff because what they realized is what people were trying to tell them forever. If you just like if you just make them worth it and you give the streamers the control that they're asking for, they will run them. It's not like people are allergic to fucking money. They're not. Like it's just that you didn't have any choice, so you fuck with the content. And the first rule of content creation is never fuck with the content. You just don't fuck with the content. Because, at the end of the day, you have to remember why people are there. They're there for the content, not 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 for the ads. Right, it needs to kind of be like, he did not run the middle- Yeah, because they're, they're probably auto ads. So, like, if he's not partnered and he's not affiliate, he probably has no control over his ads, so he's just getting ads randomly. Which is funny, because, like, they tout, like, the, the small streamer is, like, their, their bread and butter. The reason that they don't do all these crazy contracts is because, like, you know, you can just be- your big streamer can be replaced by any number of, like, fucking hundred viewer streamers, apparently. Which is complete shit, because there's a huge learning curve to having that many viewers. It, it's just like, it, they do so many stupid things like that. Like, they give so many advantages. Like, one of my favorite advantages that they recently gave was they, they let uh, Ninja, he's allowed to multi-stream to anywhere he wants. Which is great, and incredibly infuriating for literally everyone else. It would take every Dude, so many streamers! So many streamers are just fucking multi-streaming and just not saying anything. I just like- sometimes I hate being the guy who actually follows fucking rules sometimes. Cause like, people who don't, they just get ahead, man. They just get ahead. Like, they just get ahead. Just be an unethical cuck. Like, or maybe I'm the cuck. You know? Cucked by Twitch. Following the rules like an idiot. Nobody really watches YouTube, YouTube streams anyway. Yeah, but it doesn't matter, like, it's free. That's the thing, is that, like, multi-streaming is fucking free, right? So even if I get 20 viewers an hour, or, like, 20 viewers, like, a week or something like that, or anything, like, those are people that wouldn't have been watching, compared to, like, if, if I'm not doing it, I'm just not, like, those people aren't watching my content, because they're on YouTube. Like, YouTube, I think Harsim has kind of figured this out, too, like, because he, he's doing all of his casting and stuff on YouTube. YouTube is a completely separate market. A completely separate market. 
They're not even cl they're not the same. They're not the same. So like we're getting super screwed. And I think Twitch has actually less to lose than they think because Twitch viewers don't I, I don't think they're as invested in the YouTube economy. It's not an opportunity cost like I think they think it is. Yeah, exactly. And those are a, a, well, that's 1k viewers that, that it just wouldn't have had otherwise. Like those people weren't going to watch on Twitch. They were going to watch the YouTube VOD. But they watched it live because they're, they're, they're Hearthstone subs. Why don't you do what Harris Heller did and, and stream your first hour on YouTube and then move over to Twitch? Because I don't want to stream on YouTube. YouTube is worse. It's fucking worse. People are doing it because they have YouTube followings. That's it. And like maybe they'll pick up like a couple people. But like it's worse. The chat is worse. It's all worse. The subs are worse. The integration's worse. It's just all worse. It's so much worse. You can watch three minutes of ads right now. Or subscribe. Oh, the cat is in the chair. <laughs> okay, well, do keyboard cam for a bit. And then when she's like resting and chilled, we will probably channel where I get recommended a lot of, of Hearthstone viewers because so many of them watch co op with them. True. That's true. That's true. But I also think it's worse. But I would love to multi stream. I mean,. They probably don't care. Like, if I were to just start streaming on YouTube as well, they wouldn't care. Like, they only care when it's, like, when it's time for them to enforce some rules. Like, for example, like, they only care if it's, like, wow, look at this streamer's doing something that's morally gray. God, do we really want to make a big deal out of that? Or are we just going to see that he's also dual streaming so we could just fucking nuke him for dual streaming? No. It's not against any user agreement except for Twitch's. You wouldn't gamble my 70-30 split? Yeah, that's true. Is it possible deniability? No. Of course I mauled it. I think Twitch is the better platform anyway. And, and I think that it's... YouTube doesn't seem to be making any live streaming strides. At all. So what makes me... What, what, I'm, what I'm thinking anyway is that like Twitch will continue to actually get slightly better over time and YouTube is just not prioritizing it. There's just no reason like... It's just... It's just free. Even if I could multi-stream to kick, I would, because I have no, I have no, I have no give a fucks about what they're doing. I don't think that, I don't think they're any better than Amazon or any worse than Amazon. Amazon's a terrible company, right? It's just I don't really give a shit. If anything, I would try and drive people from kick to YouTube or to Twitch, because I, I would only use the chat from Twitch. I, I wouldn't even, I would probably only have them open to check to make sure no one's doing anything bad. But I think I think that uh, I think that kick is good to have around, it, as long as they can stick around. The force change, it's fine. I it truly like truthfully, um, it's like the smallest thing I could be doing right now. The the real thing I could be doing right now is the is just YouTube content in general. Evergreen YouTube content is worth a hundred and fifty times a uh, single live stream on YouTube. It's just it's worth so much more. Is it, is it gonna be dead? Dude, StarCraft on YouTube is growing 100%, right? There's no doubt about it. Yeah, we have, a, we have a bunch of copers who, like, think that it's just gonna die, but, like, the viewership just keeps going up. Like, and it's because a lot of the creators are fucking magnetic, like... Like, who the fuck doesn't like Harson? Like, only people I wouldn't want to talk to. Truly. But on videos, not on streams. Oh! I don't think that matters. I, I think the the problem with YouTube streams is that they're just like they're so clearly an afterthought. Like I, I don't it's like if you've ever looked like the only YouTube streams you ever find are ones you're already subscribed to. Like you have to basically be a subscriber. So like your YouTube streams could become good, but you need to have a YouTube following first. Like you're just not going to get the same level of you know, you're just not gonna get the same level of engagement. Yeah, you'd have to, like, they could show up in your recommended, but I can honestly, I can countably list the number of times I've been served a recommendation for a, a YouTube live stream. Now, I don't know if that's because I don't use YouTube live streams. I don't know if the algorithm will serve me more, like, if I'm a live stream enjoyer, like, maybe it'll serve me more of them. I don't know about that. Yeah, of course, like, the YouTube algorithm just doesn't, they actually did for a while, they, they were preferentially um like they used to be that live streams i learned this from ltt a long time ago that live streams and 
actual content, like evergreen, like YouTube videos. Uh, evergreen is like just a YouTube video that is meant to be a YouTube video, not a live stream. The the two were in separate queues for recommendations. So like it used to be that like LTT would do a lot of live streams because they got a lot of reach that they otherwise wouldn't have gotten by doing them because they were getting. I wouldn't. I don't want to go unfair because like the. The YouTube algorithms had many, 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 many metas. Like, let's just say that meta was that you would get a lot more from live streams than you would from regular views. Because, like, no, less people were doing live streams, so you were more likely to get recommended than other people's shit. Well, I mean, most people probably don't know that unless you're, like, a very regular YouTube live viewer, you probably don't know that there's two kinds of chats on YouTube. There's the top chat and the live chat. And the top chat is where YouTube decides what the best chat line is for you to read. And then it just doesn't show you the other ones. And then then they have the, the live chat, which is like Twitch's chat. Where it just shows you the most recent line of text. Which is probably the single dumbest fucking thing I have ever heard of in my life. And I would like to know which fucking idiot at YouTube thought that was a fucking prime idea because that is just not a chat there's many times that I over exaggerate but whoever instantiated that particular thing is an idiot they're stupid and they clearly need to spend more time watching live streams because it's the default and no matter how many times I change it it always changes it back and it is the single fucking dumbest thing That YouTube has going for it for for live streams. It is so fucking bad. It's worse than their API. It's worse than everything else. At least he didn't fight over a dead building. He is gonna fight over a dead building now though. It's terrible, man. Cause like you basically create like two cl like it's not ah. Uh, it's so frustrating. Okay, so like from the streamer's perspective, you can just change the chat type. Right? Okay, I want to see, show me the top chats, instead, or the, the, the live chat instead of the top chat. Go ahead. And it's like, you might think, well, just change it, streamer. Like, if it's a problem, just change it. The problem is that every viewer doesn't have the same chat. So, like, you're not having a chat at all. You have people who are in completely different worlds as to what they're reading. Because, like, what's, like, half the chat might only be seeing the top chats, and the other half are seeing everything. So like, you might be ha like, you might have people in chat having a conver a one-sided conversation. No, because you just basically ha would have to just you know say in the comments or on a splash or whatever that this is not like you know I'm only looking at X chat. But like yes, that would be a, a primary problem. I'm actually okay with that being a problem. Like I am all right with there being a problem with like, I'm multi-streaming and, and I have to be like, okay, well, we're using the Twitch chat, right? I would just put over the chat, it'd, be, it'd just say Twitch chat. So everyone would know that this is probably the chat that I'm responding to. That's fine. And I'd have them open to make sure there's no abuse. So like, I would say, you know, X from YouTube chat says blah, blah, blah. The truth, but like when you're having a chat, like imagine if like everyone in chat with a green name just disappeared. And so it was like only Bruno and like Killer Smile. And, like, they're having a conversation, and everyone else is, is can see them. They're reacting. But only I can only see two people. Everyone else is hidden. They're not there. Which is, like, which is ridiculous. They're having, you're having two different streams. It, it just doesn't make any sense to me. Right? Like, you have, a, you have a, a group of people who are commenting on something who just don't know what the fuck is going on with the other half of the chat. It's... Like, it's just so asinine. Only an idiot could have thought, like, or someone who's just so disconnected from the product. It's like someone just said, make me a chat where I can sort by the best message. It's like, well, it's stupid. <laughs> you know, the one thing I really like, the, the one thing I really fucking like about Twitch now is that the guy running it streams. So, like, even if... They'd make a ton of mistakes. I know at least that that guy knows what the experience is like. 
right? It's not like the Emmett Shear guy who like desperately wished he was not CEO of Twitch. Okay, he was like trying desperately to pretend he has got nothing to do with these fucking degenerates. At least that guy, to some degree, knows the product because he uses it, which is very based. Okay, it's very based. Like, you're not going to get that level of disconnect because that guy, the guy who calls the shots, would see that and be like, that's fucking stupid. He got a lot of monetary problems because, like, they're a business, but, like, a lot of the usability problems, you're not going to get to the same extent because Twitch is a live streaming pr platform. You could tell because everything they do with live streaming is better than on, on YouTube, and the progress that they're making is better, too. YouTube is stuck as a live streaming platform. They're fucking hard stuck, too. They haven't made any, like, to my the best of my knowledge, any tangible moves forward. Like, in since, like, it became, you know, a thing people did to stream on YouTube. Like, people are just doing it to basically interact with their, their current YouTube audience. Hey, YouTube. If you like this video, comment, subscribe, leave a like. Consider joining our wonderful channel members here, and have a good day.